on location now. Pleasure to be joined by athletic trainer Shannon Childs. In uh, is this the war room or where exactly are we? This here? this is the war room for the court sports. So basketballs and volleyball. This is where we get them ready and uh, take care of them. Okay, you say take care of them, Shannon. Uh, Cliff Notes version. What yeah. is your job? Well, the the short and simple is keep them healthy, keep them safe, keep them competing, and uh, that that's that's the short of it. So should pe should athletes be in here? I mean, obviously, if they've been hurt, but what about preventative stuff? You know, the tape and the ankles, the other stuff. I mean, is this a place where, you know, you would recommend to athletes they should be in here so hopefully they don't have to spend too much time in here? Well, you know, they say an, an ounce of uh, ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, that whole thing, and it, and it holds true. So little things, making sure if you're feeling a, you, you know, there's a difference between an, an injury and an owie. So we got to make sure those little owies get taken care of so they don't become injuries. Now, and how that's do you, what we're doing. Well, how do you tell the difference, or to, to, let's say a freshman comes in and, and they hurt themselves somehow, and it, it hurts. But, you know, one of the lines we always, I always heard from football coaches, there's a difference between an injury and pain. Yep. How do you help a, a young athlete do that deciphering between what is what? Because, I mean, it hurts, it hurts. It hurts, it hurts. Well, and, and the big thing is just try, try and educate them, tell them, okay, this is what it is, and this is why it hurts. You know, and if it's some little thing that's just pain, then this is why it hurts, and this is what it is, and you can work through it. We can do this, and I help out with the, you know, the psyche a little bit, and you know, <laughs> and psychology, and then, and then, and then if all else fails, you just call them out and say, hey, look, <laughs> this is college athletics. You need to play through pain. If you don't have some sort of pain, you're probably not playing hard enough. So what about that phone call? You call Rob Smith or Tom Wood or Jody Gleason. Uh, you know, Joe Blow's hurt, and I think they can play but they think their leg's about to fall off. Is that conversation ever take place, or is, is there a confidentiality maybe between you and the athlete? What, what's, what's the athlete to Shannon Child's relationship? Because we already heard about the coach to, yep. to you relationship. Yeah, well, it, it, just like with the coaches, I gotta have that trust with the coaches, I gotta have that trust with the athletes. Because if I don't, next time they're not gonna come back. So yeah, I, I kinda, I talk to them, we get good with the athletes, and make sure that I'm not betraying trust, but at some point, you got to tell, tell them, hey, it's time to go, and I'm going to tell the coaches that. I just make sure I tell them, this is what I'm telling your coach. Be ready for it so they don't get blindsided. <laughs> yeah, Shannon says uh, this. What? I didn't see that coming. What about uh, when you know, obviously it's disappointing if you got to call a coach up and say, hey, your star player yeah. might be done yeah. for the year. Yeah. So, you know, how thorough or, or – Tell me about just having to make that phone call or getting to that decision for you. I mean, obviously, if someone's leg's falling off, they're done. But, sure. but obviously, take Taylor Kilgore, for example. Yeah. Something they tried to work through, yeah. but in the end, it's just not going to work. You know, that, that's a tough one. And that's one where, from the beginning on, I'm talking to the coach, just saying, working with so-and-so, I'll, I'll keep you posted, okay? So, and then throughout the process, I make sure that they're never misinformed or they're never wondering what the heck's going on. And that's the same with the, with the athlete, too. So just making sure everybody on both sides of the ball, you know, coach and, and athlete knows what's going on. And that's the best way to do it, just make sure there's no black holes out there. Now, over the years, any uh, athletes stick out uh, as maybe a favorite of yours that uh, came in this training room over the last maybe decade? No, I've never had a football tight end I liked. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, hey, they're all good kids. I like them Insert all. Insert joke there. <laughs> uh, we like that. Shannon, thank you so much for letting us in the war yeah. room. I'm J.B. Mathers for Humboldt State tonight.